Yeah, so that really is the ultimate question for, <clears throat> for investors in 2019. Are we going to get a landmark trade deal between the United States uh, and China over the course of 2019? Our expectation is that in the first quarter, actually, we should be able to see a trade deal between the United States and Europe, and then also the United States and Japan. For U.S. and China, it's a little bit more of a complicated uh, conversation, definitely more ups and downs along the way. It's been very nice to see a little bit of relief coming yesterday, but I think big picture is probably by the middle of this year we can see something viable coming from both sides. Stefan, when you look at the reaction that we saw in U.S. markets, just on the sheer report that the administration was looking at taking those tariffs off the table, it really hits at how heavily discounted the markets are with the fear that is still hovering over them that there won't be a deal. But I do wonder, as you point out, you talk about a viable deal, but does it just have to be any deal at all? Because you talk about the fact that there's still lingering issues. Many have pointed to all the structural issues, but I'm getting the feeling here that markets are saying that's okay if they don't get resolved in the near term. Do you agree? Uh, no, no, I don't. Um, where I do agree is, is that you know, costs are, are mounting on both sides. Uh, tariffs are a form of taxation. So the US, uh, US households are now being faced with essentially higher costs than they would have been otherwise without these tariffs. And that, of course, is negative uh, for businesses, households, and economic growth. And so from the United States uh, perspective, you know, having a deal with China is also good for them. Um, and then on the flip side, of course, we have in China, it's, it's clear that it's negative for growth as well. I think both sides are ultimately motivated uh, to deal with this impasse. And Stefan, given the fact that it is negative for China's own growth outlook, we've already seen some of the data reflect that. We're waiting on the GDP print on Monday, too. I mean, is there a silver lining here that we're just going to be getting additional stimulus and then that will continue to support the economy? Or are you somewhat discouraged by the signs of Beijing coming to the rescue? Um, I don't know if it's a silver lining. I think given the circumstances, this is essentially the only option really available to China at this point. Uh, to sort of prevent a hard landing, to provide stimulus to those parts of the economy that need it, especially those that are being impacted uh, by those tariffs. So I think really it's, it's the best option available to at, at this moment. And those measures are accumulating. So I think by the middle of this year as well, we'll, be, we'll begin to see some upside surprises in the Chinese data. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.